the reason you're here, Seek, is indeed because I'm the only w- Steel Division related person. That that's not that was that was not what I was going to say. But we can go with that, or we can go with the fact that recently you started a yes. community tournament. Yes, uh, as hopefully most of you know, I am unsure who you are, so I wouldn't know for sure. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> not doing that bit. Either no. way, uh, about a month back or so, we mm-hmm. announced uh, com- our first like Paradox official community tournament, the Great Paradox Tourney, as I named it. Yes. Not, not sure if the name has stuck, but that's what I call it. Yeah. Either way. So we got a bunch of 32 people, I believe, in total. I mean, you, I think you had more people that applied. We no, everyone got we in, ha- unfortunately. Yeah, we have more signups. I think we were like around 50 signups. But essentially, we have a full full bracket that is currently ongoing. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a few games left in the first like yeah. the first sessions. Mm-hmm. And then some people have already completed their second and whatnot. Yeah, so uh, we are going to be uh, watching one of these initial games since this is a uh, well, it's a tier tournament. So if you lose, you're out. It there is. is n- it's essentially knockouts. Um, and uh, well, we'll see how it uh, works out. We haven't seen this before. We have not. Uh, and I also don't know who won because I no, I intentionally I, I, kept my eyes off the bracket. Yes, I've been s- I've been staying away from the results as well. Essentially, what you asked for in in the tournament Discord yeah. is we want a nail biter. So yeah, hopefully, we'll hopefully we get we yeah. get that. Like get maybe maybe someone someone lied to us and this is over in well, like ten minutes. We, we actually see the time on here. Well, they they don't because th- it's covered because we don't want to spoil anything. Well, no, you actually do. You see see it up there in the right corner. No, no, but, but no. That's the that's the game timer counting down. The game can end before that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You're see, ab- you're absolutely correct. Th- this actually, is, this no, is what happens. No, no, look at the time. You, when you cast with rookies, haven't haven't seen I've this actu- before. I've actually never been in the spectator mode. No, because I've you know been playing the game instead <laughs> of Anders. Well, <laughs> sp- excuse me for being the only one to talk Hashtag about it. Hashtag tank boys. <laughs> Uh, Did I win a single oh, game? S- see, Desert Wolf is here and say, says, it is my friend who played. He said this was the hardest game he's ever played. That's really cool. Yeah, I, so... I, uh, I hope we can uh, do it justice with yeah. our commentary with shallow understanding yeah. the w- of the their, one their probably very yeah. advanced tactics. The one thing I would say to Desert Wolf before we start this is please don't reveal who wins. Don't spoil it. No, because uh, that would be unfortunate or like if you see someone in chat spoiling it like if they write that Fonagar wins please write that the other person <laughs> wins so we don't know who's right so that that just <laughs> i guess we should mention that we are we have uh Fonagor on the allied side playing the um what are they the the, the uh, w- airborne uh, 101st uh, airborne mm-hmm. uh, and on the axis side we have action mambles on the ninth, ninth panzer hun- exactly uh we've already uh well, I've loaded up the replays and got to the part where they've actually deployments over. Uh, and once we once we press play, uh, these guys are going to start rolling out. But before we do so, uh, let's have a quick look here and see if we can see where these guys are going. So we can see that uh, Funagor is trying to get their pieces into uh, the uh, uh, middle uh, village here because this is a. I guess I should mention that this is a the 1v1 map so we're going to have probably a huge engagement in the s- middle of the city here because this is the big road going all the way through if you can control this if you look at my screen though for a brief moment mm-hmm. that might not actually be the case because it seems that their action members is taking a completely different route yeah we'll, we'll see where the rest of actually these ally troops are going so actually not darting for that uh, middle no. at all so this is going to be interesting yeah I, and I think it's one of those cases where I'm everyone always think well not everyone but you're like the the easy choice here is going to the middle simple it's minded folk like myself yes and me <laughs> uh but we don't actually have that many roads going up and down here on the sides so if you want to take the sides you actually have to fight through the uh, forested areas you have to fight through the orchards um that it'll be correct. interesting to see how that works especially with the fact that there are a lot of mechanized units on action mamble's side mm-hmm. that might not want to uh, run through hedgerows and that kind of stuff. That said, maybe it's time to press play and see what happens. That's right. We got to sy- uh, sync up, right? Yeah. Are you ready, sync? Um, uh, sync. I'm going to do a count and I'm going to say three, two, one now, and then we press play on one. You ready? So not on now. Well, yes, on now. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm, very I'm, confusing. I'm, it's because I'm talking uh, 
so fast that my brain can't keep up. Three through one now, but you have to press before I if say you, now. If you, if you press on two, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, three, two, one, now. There we go. There we go. I think we synced that up pretty well. Yeah, I think so too. In worst what, case scenario. What do I have to avoid pressing in order to not pause it again? Oh, well, uh, don't, Space press, uh, don't press the uh, pause button, basically. Okay. I think the most important thing to remember, if you're not cast this before, is the shift key, but you already know about that. Uh, because, uh, because I played a video game. Yes, yeah. exactly. It shows where everyone's going. So and then, of course, C to see what the, uh, okay. what the view uh, is. Oh. Hang on, are you all? Yeah, so. Oh boy, they're so already uh, shooting. Uh, put down the, the mortar early and is already mortaring the end. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, the, uh, that's smoke, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's smoke. That's a really cool tactical. I don't, I don't know how common that is. Okay, I, we I, got can't, I, can't, I can't believe we have actual people that knows how to play the game properly. Yeah, this that's, is. Like that's not saying anything to towards Nicholas and Roland because they know that too. We got, a, that we, uh, got our first casualty on Fallingor's side, I believe. Yeah, that's an airborne. You probably oh don't wow. want that. These uh, guys are really uh, sturdy normally. But this is a very strong push on for my right hand side from. Uh, AX uh, action mambles. Not much happening on the left hand side though, since uh, the uh, axes don't actually have any units there, meaning that the allies get a large push. And we can see yeah, that yeah. the allies have 55% of the map already. That is true. Uh, so we'll see what also. happens here. Look, good on Fanagor here for having some rifles with uh, anti tank weapons. Uh, managed to push back one of the panzers. But they're already being uh, bombarded here. The uh, the M1 gun trying to get something done and managed to get something done, but the uh, the rest of the tanks have have s uh, stopped and are retreating to fall back. Because as you know, Seek, one of the uh, most important things in this game is to make sure that your units don't actually uh, get destroyed. That is true. Or surrendered because. Keep them alive. Yeah, as long as long as they're alive, you can you can regroup, do that push again. But, but if they're out, they are out. It seems like dead men push no front lines. Exactly. So Fanagor has taken quite a lot. Quite. Fanagor made a strong push. Like I'm incredibly impressed by that. The uh, like smoking the main mm -hmm. road. I'm well. Move. I'm smart move, especially since the main road is very much straight up and down. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll see how. Action Mambles actually responds to this. Uh, sent out to Storch uh, to get some information. Well, let's he has sent some people yeah. back running now here in the middle. Yeah, let's have a quick look we'll here on Action Mambles. I can see what they actually see. And they see some good almost more nothing also. except this uh, command unit over here, which is being uh, bombarded, and a gun and some extra sync. Not that much. Let's have a look at Funagor. Funagor can see a lot more. Let's see, where are Funagor's recon? Some pathfinders up here? I think. Do we have anything else? We have another pathfinder over there. I think we have a dead unit here also on uh, on Funagor's side. Yeah. Uh, well, just pinned. The, yep, the rifles are pinned. Let's see if they if they break or not. They're still on their own side, right? And they are airborne, so mm -hmm. they tend to stick around for a bit longer. Oh, boy. Yeah. And... Let's okay. So that was so the allies do have some bombers. Uh, Action Mamble is responding quite quickly. Uh, manages to uh, chase them off. But once gotta do something about this though. This big yes, blue I mean, this blob is in the in the and here comes Action Mamble's right. Yeah, and here comes more smoke. It seems like Funagor wants to take even more of the village, which seems like a smart move at the moment. Um, Ooh, that smoke is That's some precision smoke. Mm -hmm. You really cover. The, those units. the air going for that mortar that's uh, pushing out the smoke got it pinned down, but not much else. Oh, the smoke is already out. I mean, I'm sure he wanted even more. Well, more he there, I, I think f uh, with the storage here, uh, I think uh, Action Mambles actually knows where the mortar unit is and could kind of. But this, I mean, Fanagor must be pretty happy about this. Uh, just pushing forward with a. Heavy machine gun, yeah, and yeah, yeah. there is no one stopping him. This is so. This is this area. Th so many points. This is what happens like every time. All in all of my games of Steel Division, it's always this. I'm on. Uh, I'm on like this level. Like, okay, I need to fine tune my every little move yeah. in this little area, and then I zoom out. I'm like, oh, half the map is wrong color. And here we, <laughs> here we have some bazookas in jeeps coming in to hopefully deal with these uh, panzers because action map. Mambles Oof. is making a push with his Panzer squad right now, and there isn't that much 
Fonagor can do about it by the looks of things. Let's let's have a quick look and see what this Panzer sees. This Panzer has a pretty decent view of things, actually. Um, I should probably stop looking at Fonagor's uh, view and just go for everything here. I'm so... Uh, oh. It, it seems it seems like Action Mamble's it counter here seems here to be... coming. Yeah, okay. So making sure that there aren't that many units rolling out a Panzer 1... And there's something more over there, right? Yep, there is a... That's a supply truck, I think. Uh, let's no, see. it's not. It's got units in it. The, well, that's that's not very German. Oh, fuel explosion. One of the uh, mechanized, infra uh, mechanized units, not mechanized infantry, is out on Action Mamble's side. Uh, the heavy machine gun has found the Panzer 1 and is... Actually doing a decent job. We'll see what the response is here. Yeah, the Six. Panzer Grenadier comes out from Action Mambles and seems like they are just going to run up on on the heavy machine gun here. And if they can take that out, it should swing a that lot of this area back. Oh, yeah. To, uh, they have nothing else over here. Well, there is a Pathfinder behind him, but they should be able to do some decent job. We'll see. Oh, yeah. nope. But the uh, heavy machine gun stressed out the Panzer first we'll see how long it's going to take these act uh these gun 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 to run up on the heavy machine gun mm -hmm. uh on Ooh. the other side uh um, excited yes action mambles is pushing down harder and has stemmed the bleed quite a lot with a heavy push into the allies territory it's 52 versus 38 now yeah the which it, uh, it, it looks almost 50 50 but i suppose the the jagged edges gives um fanagor uh, an advantage yeah, I think uh, since Fanagor still has the whole Whatever. village here, that's that's that is an advantage. It's it's going to be really hard to get mm. rid of all of these units. Panzer uh, the are now pushing away that mm. uh, that machine gun, by the way. Yes, and it's falling back, and with that, we're back to fifty fifty. So after that early after that early start, where uh, essentially Action Mambles gave up the village. To Fonagor, uh, I think this is a this is a decent combat. Just stemming the bleed at 400 points is good. We're almost in phase B, and in phase B, uh, the axes are actually going to have more uh, division income mm -hmm. uh, than the allies, and will probably bring out, bring out some more yeah, it's interesting e units. It's evening out. Yeah, and then of course, uh, yeah. So. The Ninth Panthers start with 85, and then they keep getting 25 and 25 in phase, phase B and phase C. Mm. Whereas uh, the <laughs> 101st Airborne, they do start with some more, and they increase, but not as much. That said, I'm not sure how many units Fonagor has actually lost. Even the heavy machine gun here that was pushed back is still around. It's not oh been yeah. wiped out. But here comes the little, what are you called? The Panzer One, yeah, well, Panzer One C, the, the units with the oh, my mind isn't working, but the the ones with the little binoculars. Oh, the uh, one of the recon no? or scout recon, recon, recon uh, is the word I'm looking units. for. Recon was the word. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, uh, this will this will be an interesting engagement in the sense that if if uh -huh. I don't see how, let's see what the heavy machine gun can do here, uh, uh, because they definitely know. It's squeezed. Let's have a look at action mambles. Yeah, they they know it's there. The, uh, it the Panzer easy. is is just driving past it, and it's encircled now. Mm. Uh, we'll see what actually happens here, because these are still airborne, right? So they're that circle is they are acting in a special way. They're they're better at being behind enemy lines than most other troops That's are, true. but they're that down to just to one unit. So that dude is. And now yeah. he's pinned down. And, yep. and my leg is in the wrong position. There we go. And yeah, and we're there down we to 50-50 officially also. Yeah. Uh, the allies did manage to claw out some more points after being at 400. But we are in phase B in just a few seconds. We can see that the uh, allies uh, bomber, the Mustang here, is doing work. But it's probably going to try and be chased off by the... Uh, by the Axis Air, but now there's actually a decent amount of planes in the sky, for once. Let's see if any of them, uh, any of them have a horrible time. So far, not really stressed out. They are circling. Oh, oh falling wow. back on the Mustang here. Let's, let's see it's a if little train. Uh, this other Mustang can. I gotta say, away. you you become really good at, <laughs> really good at, 
Kinda. commentating on this game. I've, I've been, I'm I've like, been doing this a like, bit. Whoa, how is it taking it all in? Uh, well, it's uh, practice. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, there's. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that I, I don't know if that's what Desert that. Wolves is uh, is referring to, <laughs> but it is actually a fair point to say that the most credit deserved for running this turn is definitely to Trans, one of our community ambassadors mm -hmm. who's done a splendid job at uh, organizing and uh, contacting people. It was merely my idea, and I set up the thread. Yeah, you, you told people to do it, and people stepped up. There you go. Basically. Would not Which have happened without me, but I uh. can take all the credit. Oh, I should I should stop being in Action Mabel's view. I was like, where, where, are, all the, where are all the allied units? Here they are. Uh, this is this is an interesting move from Funagor, though. Funagor, Funagor is pushing back. Yeah, he, re he realized on the le my left-hand side here that, oh, there's a panzer that's pushing back my pocket. How do I respond? I respond with some rifles that have some anti-tank mm. uh, ability. So we'll see, see if, if anything happens here, because there's 12 versus, there's some uh, AB rifles versus the some Panzer Grenadiers here. And there- Panzer Grenadier seems to be winning that one, at least the first. Uh, yeah, they, I think it's because they have support here. We'll and here we have the Panzer see. also. Oh! Ooh, that's, that's okay. a fuel that, explosion. I mean, that's a Panzer one, but still, now being now that the Panzer Grenadiers are attacked mm -hmm. from two sides, um, the a, the Still the further AB rifles real, have a possibility of falling back and not being destroyed, uh, which which is always good. And here comes a bomber on the oh ow, boy, oh and boy. That knocked out half of uh, that uh, rifle squad. Uh, nice. So Action Mambles holds. Action uh, Mambles indeed. He managed to retake it. Yeah, uh, the allies are back up to 51% though. Uh, Tonagor is still sitting very comfortably there in the center town though. Mm -hmm. And we we are two minutes into into phase B. Phase, uh, phase B here, and we see some uh, we have some uh, Bufosh cannons and a howitzer I think here in the back. Some more uh, machine guns coming in from the allied side. Uh, here's a lovely Stug three. Uh, with <laughs> two stars just rolling down the road here. Rolling where down the center street. Where are, you, where are you going? Just going straight into town. Making my way downtown. Rolling uh, past. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I <laughs> wish I, I knew more of the lyrics because I like where you were going I with it. I think I know most of it, but I didn't want to commit too much to the bit. Uh, <laughs> commit to the bit! Commit, commit to the bit, God Oh, there we go. The allies once again knocked out the Panzer Grenadiers, and they have this massive oh pocket boy. here. Oh, boy. Um, that that hurt for Action Mambles. Yeah, I mean that's at fifty eight percent. Yeah, they're up to plus two now. Um, so Action Mambles does have to get a push, and this is, I mean, Action Mambles most likely being a uh, Panzer uh, division probably wants to just hold at the start as as the infantry you run in you hold you hold you hold you hold you hold and you hope that you get enough points at the start mm -hmm. to kind of win and so far that is working it's out working. for Funagor. but we are also only 14 minutes into the game here Indeed. and <coughs> of course they need a total of 2500 points Would to win before um if they want to win before the 40 minutes are up indeed uh in this case Depend looking at how they're actually playing, we might see a 40-minute game here, and, and, in, and if that's the case, words are hard, uh, we'll go at who has the most point at the end of the game. Indeed, which is really the most exciting yeah. ones. Him, here we have some more, in, uh, uh, another Opal Blitz coming in with infantry, and a me uh, mechanized uh, troop coming in as well, and hopefully they can push back this blue blob here on the left hand side Indeed. for the uh, axis uh, back to 51 percent here it seems like we have a bit of a stalemate on the or actually this is the left hand side this is right hand side uh on the right hand side where uh um, your left or my left yeah. <laughs> where where action mambles uh very experienced uh tank well it's a Panzer one and some mechanized units and a Marauder at this point. They're all pretty damn experienced. Yeah. <laughs> by uh, the looks of it. Okay, here comes the uh, Stug keeps rolling in, uh, but it's a bit of a it's a bit of here a stalemate. Comes the smoke again in the center. Yeah. Is he gonna run through it? No, I mean, I th I think so. What's happened is Ooh, that. Ooh, this is interesting. Now they're they're putting in some recon into the town actually. Mm -hmm. So I guess get a better better lay of the land. A, a uh, spet troop here. Uh, so uh -oh. it's, uh, it's oh. actually oh that one got captured right away and then that one 
yep, they <laughs> kind of <laughs> captured each other. <laughs> but this was this was Jesus. really really smart though in that. Uh, the smoke came out, and they sent in the uh, action Mamble sent in the Panzer one first here because, of course, the Stug. You don't you don't want the Stug to roll in through smoke and then get mm. shot down by some uh, bazookas hiding in some of these buildings. Thought, for some reason, I thought you were going to say some loser hiding in some yeah. building. <laughs> some some loser hiding yeah. in some bil building. It seems like uh, the the mortar is out of smoke and out of ammunition, so it's. Uh, uh, it's going to need some resupply. Action Mamble's taking over Same. half of the town. We're back to 50-50 again. Action Mamble's, honey, I'm home. Back into the city. Mm, I, well, that, what do you mean, back? Well, They've never <laughs> been there before. That is a fair point. Uh, let's see if we have any other movement here on the left-hand side. Nothing really for the Allies. Uh, let's have a look here for Action Mamble's. Nope, they're happy. They're happy on my right, and they're just pushing into town uh, now. Um, so it seems like th it seems like the tactics has changed. Uh, Action Mambles has let uh, Thunder hold the town for a bit, and at this point, it's like you know what, it's it's, it's time, for me time for me to take to take this village, and I'm going to do that by just rolling in a bunch of mechanized stuff, Roll uh, in the tanks, Panzer. tanks, and half tracks. Boy, oh boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems to be, and it's it's it's. it's I mean, working. it's working. Uh, there's some fun uh, engineers with flamethrowers here, but they got pinned down, and now they're falling back, and they're probably gonna die, did, and that makes me sad. Did anyone ever, ever manage to use the flamers in any more games? In the uh, not very effectively. I, know, I mean, I know I'm, know I'm, I'm sure it's. A couple of times I'm I sure I it's been used a few. It's been used a few times. Uh, Fair enough. But these uh, these poor engineers here are essentially being chased back as the front line moves backwards by by some uh, oh yeah by some half tracks. Uh, that said, let's see how much how much anti air Ooh. is actually available here. There's oh wow some this <laughs> this S S D K K F Z really yeah that's uh, it doesn't want to stop. <laughs> no, it's a half track. It's been chasing the engineers. Uh, ever since they were on the other side <laughs> of the road here, and now it's them that's kind of well, in may the wrong place. We, we may can have overreach, overreached we, a bit. We can see how the engineers are actually flaming them them out. Uh, there's an M1 gun that's a bit stressed out here. Oh, I mean, gonna what's go to what's gonna what's gonna happen here? I I'm I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the main thing here, but I'm completely <laughs> whoops, my sensitivity is set too high. It's still it's still around. It's doing work, uh, but oh, the uh, the engineers here are slowly advancing on it. Yep, flamed it some more. Oh boy! And <laughs> since this is an open top, this is really stressing stressing <laughs> it out, and it finally surrendered. Oh no! Um, so, Rest in peace, so little guy. That said, the en engineers oh. are now out of uh, flamethrowers. Well, they're out of ammunition for that it so they need suck. some resupply let's see do we have any resupply anywhere that must really suck being in like a like tank it. or some such and someone comes and just spits fire on you i mean i think it in general oh, it just sucks being in a tank we had a huge ammo explosion just then yep so it seems it seems like uh Fonagor and the allies are fighting back here but they're oh me, oh my. putting in a lot of infantry uh and some uh, smaller uh tank units oh that's another one oh. that's uh Jesus, that's the tanks are there are a lot of bazookas here they for Fanagor on the left hand side let's see are they going which, which is probably smart if you're up against I, i'm the saying left one, i mean right i'm very sorry everyone everyone must be really confused about my commentary well especially me who is watching the thing uh, the opposite way yeah from you. well in that case it must be crystal clear because oh. <laughs> i'm i'm saying left when i mean right and i say right when i mean left Fair so enough. a lot of these positions here further back for Fanagor seems to be pretty static at the moment, focusing on on the center of the town, which kind of makes sense. It's hard to focus on more oh boy, things oh at the same time here. I'm going to zoom out some more. Ooh, we got some, um, I think this is some anti-air. And seems more like more bombers coming in. We oh had boy. a marauder wow, from... Wow, Fanagor uh, is, he wants his town back. Well, I mean, they had it... Uh, at the start, so yeah. you know he was there first. Exactly, it's right it's forward. mine. I had it. Why? Oh boy! Why oh are boy. you here? Uninvited. But for the first Oof. time, 
in this game. It's oh. actually Action Mambles that has the upper hand at 51%. So slowly but surely, the points are trickling Getting some in. Getting points. Yeah. And if this keeps up, Action Mambles will actually, because we're also in Phase C. Welcome to Phase C, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, if this keeps up, Action Mambles will win at the end of the game. There is enough. Oh yeah. uh, there is enough points enough, here. Enough time left. Yeah, for uh, for him to collect mm. before uh, before the game before the game is over. And this is usually very. You kind of you kind of need to look at that bec because that, of course, does kind of dictate. Do I need to push more, or can I step back and uh, just defend the line? Mm -hmm. Now, being at just 42%, you probably want to get some more percent before you're oh like, yeah. oh, no, I'm just going to defend the line, what or you, I'm going to try and settle down push, and yeah, push get comfy. through. But this does mean that Fonagor somehow has to find, find those areas where uh, they can claw back some, some of oh. the territory and stop. Stop the currently tiny, tiny bleed. Straight up. We do have some howitzers uh, bombing uh, some artillery here. There's actually... how How's this town looking? Uh, so Action Mambles has put in some infantry. Uh, they started with just rolling through uh, with tanks. With the Panzer. Yeah, exactly, with Panzer. The Stug uh, 3 is... or Well, there is a Stug 3 here. Ooh. It's Ooh, still more or less a stalemate on, the, uh, on my left. There's an off-map uh, strike tank oh boy. thingy here. Let's see if they... I, is it going to make the big boom? Uh, well, uh, possibly. We'll oh, look, at, the look at this little guy. The Panzer II Lucht. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, but this is... Oh, really? This he, is he, a he just snuck in behind. This is, yeah. this is tricksy. No, this is, this is really uh, smart. Got rid of that really annoying gun that had vision on essentially the whole, uh, the whole road here. We'll see if Fonagor. Yep, Fonagor manages to take it out with the uh, back gun. It was here, very sneaky, but Fonagor. Uh, Fonagor don't care about your sneaky shenanigans. <laughs> well, pr probably does. It's just that there are still answers, because there are uh, there are a bunch of things here in the back that can actually deal with mechanized units, and it's currently being bombarded. Um, mm -mm -mm. But it is at the same time protected by a Bofors anti. Air cannon here. I'm a, I'm a has taken back a percentage dock, though. Yeah. So, uh, so, and it seems like, to me, as as the main talker, not the main player, it's it seems like, since we see everything, right? Let's let's have a quick look and see what Fanagor actually sees. So Fanagor sees quite a fair bit in the sense that there's no extra units hiding further up here that they don't know about. But we'll possibly push ma pushing on the and that's kind of what's happening here with the uh, these rifles pushing forward on the left hand side identifying hope hoping to identify a weak flank and getting that extra getting that uh, getting that extra um, area that they need uh, but uh, some units being destroyed there I totally actually members did not see as much looking at him now he just sent over their recon plane so he did see some more mm -hmm. however it was more or less empty here except and for we can the very town look at all of these units here all of them falling back mm -hmm. uh, there's a They're going there's home. a heavy machine gun just rolling down the road it. here uh, boy, a, oh boy. A GMC heavy machine gun uh, two stars so it should be able to do uh, quite a lot of work mm. um, and the, uh, it's shifted again. Oh boy, uh, we're it's shifted up to hard. Yeah, even. we're up to 54% yeah. from uh, uh, Funagor here. Actually, Mammal's uh, losing that my right hand side again. Mm -hmm. Well, but uh, as soon as that happened, look, look where his, uh, look where uh, their units are going. They're, they've realized that no, we need to, we need to hold, uh, try and push this flank back. If mm. if we do that, we're possibly going to get the points we need. So let's push hard. Because we are in a situation where we need to push hard. Mm -hmm. If we if we just accept this status quo, we're we're gonna lose. We need to get we need to get the area. Um, and oh, he's actually moving here on the on the the left hand side also. Mm -hmm. They've been standing still I for mean a long long time. Yeah, and I mean that's kind of uh, which is not that's which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like it can no, be but very in valuable in this to just hold your In this ground. case, I I would argue that it is. They they need to get in mm. and get get the area so they can get the uh -oh. points. The longer they the longer they wait, sure they might be able to get more recruitment points because they are getting more per ten Ooh. seconds compared to uh, 
Funagore at the moment. But the longer the longer they wait, the more points they actually have to claw back in the end. Straight up, this was just very exciting in the middle. If I understood it correctly, more or less the entire line down was pinned down, and here comes this little I think guess half track. I'm a bit bad at the net, like model names, mm -hmm. just racing down. Um, capturing two units and then uh, being instantly blown up yeah. from the side. And we're back we're down at 52 here. We'll see where So these units try to roll down. Some of them are now falling back. Uh but we do have a Befelspanzer. Ooh. I'm glad I asked for this game. This is very intense. Yes. So we do have a Befelspanzer, but the Befelspanzer for some reason is leading the charge. Uh-oh. Um which is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> we do have another Panzer one here and a Stug. Or a Stug. 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 Is it with an umlaut? No. Then it's a Stug. 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 We have Andreas, our new our new colleague who's <laughs> from Germany. <laughs> he could yeah, yes, this is just this is just uh, essentially insulting him. Um, what? No, I would just ask how to pronounce the thing. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, Jesus. <laughs> No, I'm saying us trying to pronounce it without asking. Oh, oh, that's fair. That's yeah. probably very insulting. Uh, but we do have... Um, we we do... See? I mean, are these guys just... Uh, I mean, okay, so there are some mm. rifles here on the right and left-hand side of the Panzer 1 and the Befeld Panzer. I we'll see if they do anything, because they're also... Ooh, oh, right. I missed oh boy, a bombardment. Oh, oh boy, oh, boy. Mm, that must have hurt. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it's it's for it's it forced the Stug to fall back. Oh, oh and oh. the uh, Panzer One uh, recon Bandles. units uh, just uh, got destroyed outright, and the Befeld Panzer is also being pushed back. We're back to 50-50 though. Holy hell! Uh, 13 minutes left. Now the thing is, if if Action Mambles has enough uh, units and finds some pocket. They can still, they can claw, claw the points back that they need. It's just really difficult to, they to do at the hit. They need a hard hit. They can't really see anything. They they know that they're to the right uh, side on the, my screen here, that there are some anti-tank anti, anti -tank units. They know that there are things here, but they can't really see any more than that. I mean, they, they know that there is mortars and some type of artillery coming in here. Mm. Uh, and here come, ooh, here comes a tiger. Le Tigre, <laughs> as you would say in French. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they said that all the time. Uh, well let's see if it can do anything. Good band. Uh, they have 12 minutes left. It's back to 50 percent. So, I'm fairly certain what Action Mammals wants to do, which is like possibly a desperate move or a smart one, is because he seems to want to force his way behind the town. So I'm. I mean, I think at this point they kind of just. They have to find somewhere to roll up. Some entry point. Yeah, and just just get that. He is taking the lead, yeah, though, though. Spearhead. We'll, s we'll see what these guys are doing. Yep, so. Is s it well, it's 49 to 51 to action mambles. Yeah, so they are pushing in. Let's see, some of them are. Most of them are pushing forward. Uh, so the tiger, tiger is definitely pushing in, and we also have a push in from the. From the uh, um, east side here in my perspective uh, maybe i should go with east and west instead that would make sense uh, hey, i mean it's because however, we're watching i wouldn't <laughs> know what's my side. east and west well, well we'll we'll never know um we'll see how this works is is funagor actually looking to do anything yes he's they're actually pushing forward with some oh rifles wow. here uh to try and take out uh this uh half track uh, which which makes sense because uh, action mammals is actually back to plus one and the best well not the best way I mean the best way at this point as long as Funagore just holds the line they're fine. Hold the line. Love is it always Love is it always Sorry, uh, how did your band uh, <laughs> uh, try out go by the Completely way? Completely unrelated yes. to anything work related, but it went very well. Okay, that's nice. Back yeah. to this. Uh, <laughs> back, back to things not regarding my myself. Uh, so Thank I you mean, for asking. You, uh, you should have remembered it sooner. Uh, so where did, hang on, where is our tiger? Here's our tiger, and our tiger is pushing forward, and I mean, Action Mambles has, oh, they're back to 50-50. Oh boy. 
ha ooh, and the M4DD has a transmission damaged uh, as well, and there's some pan uh, Panzer Grenadiers moving up on it, I think. There is still 10 minutes, though. Yeah, but at 10 minutes, uh, points need to be taken quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and there's a Befalis Panzer to support the Tiger as well. So three stars. This should be able to do uh, hit things real well, real quickly. <sighs> Transmission damaged again. We'll see if they manage to knock this out. Re oh, oh, and that's a bounce. But the Tiger is really stressed uh, out. Oh, crew killed. Okay, the tiger. Mo moving forward. That should feel good for uh, Action Mambles Tiger's here. home. Uh, ooh, there are some glider leaders here, and they, let's see, do, do you have any? Yeah, they do have some bazookas um, that they could possibly use. <gasps> Holy shit, they did use it. They just blew up Holy the tiger. Fuck. You made a sound, so I looked away, and I missed it. <laughs> okay. That hurts. That is not what Action Mambles wanted. They're back to 50%. Oh. I'm sorry, we missed some of the things here on the left and right-hand side, probably. But that was pretty intense. I was like, oh, he managed to push push forward. Things are happening. There is some. And then there was no tiger. There is some more infantry coming here from the center, though. Mm -hmm. From Action Mambo's side. Rolling in. And we still have the Befals Panzer here. Uh, mm. This is a. Uh, Bit demoralized after their yeah, tiger father has been uh, blown to pieces. Uh, coming in from this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what they can do. Because this is the this is the sneakiest Befalspanzer around. <laughs> this should be able to take this out from the, the little Befalspanzer that could. Well, this one he should actually be able to take out this out from the front. Of the, uh, well, possibly. Let's. Can it actually see it though? No, not yet. Oh yeah. Here he comes. Okay. Oh no, that tree. Here we go. Oops. R right in the. Oh, behind. Oh 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 oh. Oh well. Okay, just. Oh no. Not quick enough. The Befal sponsor <laughs> down. It, it was not the little Befal sponsor that. No, nah, it's the little Befal sponsor that couldn't. <laughs> the, the little Befal sponsor that choked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really, really under a lot of pressure lately. Oh yeah. Uh, and Fanagor, I really turned the score again on the, my right yeah. hand side. Uh, this has been this has been back and forth um, several uh, several times. Um, yeah, I think with the Befal sponsor and. The tiger, I think that's a lot of uh, action mambles points spent. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see if there's any more that they can uh, they can do here. And yeah. we do have the rifles coming up on. Go so go! So I w so yeah, you can't actually see. Oh right, see. because this thing is actually out of. Uh, uh, oh, it's out of uh, Granatwerfer. Uh -oh. So it's only got the machine gun. Um, that is. Less than good. And now it's not there anymore. Because it did. A very... Ooh, okay. Yeah, this seems like Fanagor managed to hold and uh, is now reaping the rewards and being able to push back. But not that many units, actually. Uh, this was the was quite a, quite the uh, AB rifles here on the uh, my right-hand side. Oh, yeah, that yeah. took a while to get over there, but once they did... Look at the area they got. Mm -hmm. Over here, not as successful, but, but that's because they ran <laughs> into some pans Panzer Grenadiers yeah, earlier, and a Panzer II. Earlier in the game, actually, two like Panzer II. Action Mammals more or less had this entirely locked down. Th mm -hmm. Like, that's the one the static area of the yep. map because he had so many Panzers mm -hmm. over there. Uh, right now, this, M4 this M4DD has been, which is an uh, amphibious uh, tank, has been... Has been just own, owning the crossroads here, essentially. Uh, started here, now well, not made that far. Uh, went that far, but uh, look at all the look at all the destroyed tanks. Well, that's uh, that's, that's, a that's, neat the, problem. that's the tension <laughs> here. But to to be fair, I think there's slightly less tension left at this point fair with enough. with less than six minutes left and Funagor still amphibious you say is it because he's drowning in points Funagor <laughs> <laughs> with plus one what do we see there's another tiger can this tiger do what the other tiger couldn't i do believe in a good tiger i mean it's coming it's coming up against this m4 dd that had nothing to do with the previous tiger but it's here now oh boy and it's just rolling straight down the road like well, I don't think there's it doesn't give a fuck. There isn't that much else it can do at this point. 
the only way for Action Mambles to actually win this would be to get a massive amount of points. And to do that, you have Massively to... Massively fast. Yes. And to do that, you have to move quickly. The roads make you move quicker. Uh, he is leading pretty pretty good now, though. Yeah. He's, uh, while we've been talking, they've been pushing out on the left and the right-hand side here. So, you know what? Maybe maybe we were mistaken. Maybe maybe, maybe Funagor does, doesn't actually have that many units left. And you know what? Me. It doesn't really look like it. Maybe maybe I, I Funagor is actually out of cards and resource points as as well. But is is this is this too late? Question is if it's too late. I, I feel it looks it looks like it's too it looks like it's too late. But he's earning about this this math is always kind of hard. Yeah, he's earning one point a second. About how many seconds are it in four minutes and twenty seconds? Math. Uh, so it's sixty oh, by it's four. Two hundred and four sixty. Yeah, so that's not enough. No, that's far from enough. But, but what if, what if, if they doubled it? Yeah. No, well, that's that not enough. Still not be enough. But, but what if they tripled triple. it? Triple. The triple. It is possible. We're almost up at plus two. We're at fifty-seven. Uh, and then we need <laughs> then they need to get up at sixty-five percent to get a uh, to get a plus four. Oof. Plus four. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, seventy-five for plus four. Straight uh, up. Plus four. Me looking at the. But they're at 58. Um, that is pretty aggressive. It is aggressive. I don't think it's enough, though. I think they ne I mm. they need more. Oh, uh, oh. Boy, oh, boy. This is the tightest I mean, game it's I've ever seen. I mean, these guys that are pushing on, on my right here, they're going to run into to, into the bazooka team. 60. And that might not work. 61. But the Panzer twos are pushing down. Uh, so yeah, so they need to they need to get up. Oh, holy shit! This is actually more than I expected. It. They need to get to at least sixty. If they get to uh, if they get to sixty five, they get Woo! plus three. At which point they're like uh, they're seven hundred points behind. So they need in three minutes they need to get uh, more than s uh, more than seven hundred points. Um, mm. That's not going to be. They need even more. I can't. I can't counter it now. This is too exciting. Okay, so <laughs> so some one of the Panzers got taken out by an M4A1. Uh, we They're got some bounces here. One percent uh, from three points, though. Yeah, but they need they need they need more, and they need it quickly. They need to get rid of everything that's in in this town and just get this bubble, and then keep pushing down on the right hand side. They managed to get rid of the bazooka teams that were on this uh you're on my left well yes on your left and th they are pushing forward uh on your left my right here uh but i don't like i don't think this is i don't think this is, is it not enough. enough no i don't think is so it, is it gonna be uh, tri I think tripping it was on the finish line he, he let Fanagor have too much fun from the get-go i i th i think that's i think that's the case i'm sure someone if, if i mean if it stays at plus two um Funagor has this, and, and even at plus three, it's it's, it's like one it's minute like and forty-seven seconds left. That's that's about a hundred points. It's about two hundred points at plus two. I'm not uh, trying to show you. Three hundred points at plus three. It they need be, more. It might be ticking a little quicker than once a second, though. I'm not. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It's second bound. I. It should be second bound. It looks like it goes well, faster uh, than a second. Well, I guess be. I might there, be wrong. There are we'll three points we'll now. At least we'll find. We'll find out. Oh boy! Oh boy! Whatever the result of this match, this is uh, indeed a nail biter. They yeah. they so, so see, I guess I should should have asked. Now, in in this first stage of the knockout tournament in the first mm -hmm. game, is it a best of one or is it a best of three? Best of three. It's a best of three. So people, this is the second game that these two played. Because mm -hmm. this was the one. I, as I, I guess said, this is something we should have talked about at the start, but I forgot yeah. because I got too excited. Well, I mean. Head into the Steel Division forum, and the threads should still be pinned, so yeah. you can hang out. You can join the Discord channel yeah. and chat with us during the days. And there are some there are some special rules when it comes to picking maps and divisions and that kind of stuff. It's very similar to it's yeah, it's what about we the did same. in the in the in-house uh, tournament. Uh, so there are some strategy to the uh, picking of the maps and the the divisions as well. Um, and as we discussed, like setting up this tournament, one of our hopes at least like it's it can't really be a goal because it's not up to us to achieve in any way but our hope is that this format 
like if people like this format that more people in the community will organize similar tournaments mm -hmm. and if you yeah. if you have feedback on the current format it is in the in the forum thread as six mentioned uh please let us know if and he made it so yeah don't don't complain about me i mean it's it is to be fair perfect wow. but if if you if you can improve on perfection left. uh let's seek now there we are that is a win for Fanagor. Yes. If, it, he, if, it, if he had not gotten to hold the, the center for... If he had been pushed back a little earlier, mm -hmm. that would not... Might have been very different. Yeah, I mean, and that's always... That's oh. always... That's the tricky bit, right? Figuring out when to push, when to hold back, and uh, when to uh, when to counter push, as it were. Um, there we go. Uh, oh! Nurgapur posted it in in Twitch chat. Thank you very much, Nurgapur. To, to the forums. Uh, I don't think we're necessarily going to go through the uh, kills and the losses because we just make uh, fools of ourselves. Probably. Um, that said, Seek, uh, thank you for uh, bringing. I'm very happy to be a here. really good replay. Thank you. Um, I, and hey, I want to say thank you to Fanagor and yes, uh, and Action boy. Mumbles. Action Mumbles. Hard to remember new mm. nicknames on the fly. Yes. But yeah. For. Fucking bringing it in, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought we'd get an interesting game, but this mm -hmm. this is like. And uh, of course, we will be back uh, next week with another uh, replay. Really, we'll indeed. we'll see who's here casting it. Uh, might be me. Might be someone else. Yeah. Exactly. Might be someone who might can actually get some insight into the tactics of the players. Mm. I'm like, that's a smart move because he moves towards the enemy and he might kill them if he's good. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, but as always, uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, see you guys uh, next time. Have Bye for one. now.